Hey friend, it's Brian here. I want to say to my old friends, my good friends, my best friends, thank you for coming back into the room. And I want to say to any new friends coming in for the first time. My name is Brian, this is a channel. And what I do is I get together with my good friends and watch music on YouTube because music is so vital. I think that it's going to start storming and the light will go out, at least my natural light. So I'm going to just hurry this up the best I can. So today we are uh, listening to Whitney Houston. I didn't know my own strength. Her doing this live at what I believe was the Billboard Awards. Uh, uh, I actually saw this many, many years ago when she, I watched it live as a kid. Uh, and I, just, I just had this desire to listen to it again. Uh, so that's what we're doing, okay? Um, hit the subscribe button, let's be friends, and let's get into this video. You're the light of my build to break. No, no, I got to know. I got to know my own strength. Oh, yes, I do. Thank you, thank you. Come on, come on. 
makes me sad. Why don't you just miss Whitney? Why don't you just miss her? Um, ah, let's see. So many people sing Whitney Houston songs. So many people. So it's like she is definitely the standard, I feel, for most singers. Like if you sing a Whitney Houston song, then they feel that they've accomplished something and most likely their following feels that they are the best ever. I feel like that's how it works. It's, it, it's Whitney. Whitney's the one. For, uh, for Whitney's the one. You know, um, she it's her songs that are the, the, the standard, it seems, for singing. This is what it is. Um, and, you know, some people do a really good job with those songs. They can really sing. But it was never just about the voice with Whitney. Like, and she had it, you know what I mean? Like, and she had the voice. But it was also about her soul. and her personality and her stage presence. And, you know, this performance was towards the end of her career and end of her life. Uh, I believe, I don't think this was her last performance. It might have been her, it definitely, it might have been her last award show performance. Um, and I Look To You, which the album, the songs from the album was her last album, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, you know, there's some things that was not the same, you know, vocally. But even in all of that, you can still see what was there. <laughs> the stage presence. You just can't, you, you, you either have it or you don't, you know, with stage presence. And it just, that doesn't go away. And sometimes it's not about... Um, being the greatest thing of all time is not about um, the range, it's about how. And the range of her voice at this time was slipping away from her. But the great singer in her found a way to use what was still there. And I was still impacted and still mesmerized by how she delivered notes you know what i mean uh like the uh, and for her because it was just so rooted in uh, a great artistry great personality uh identity of personality like she knew herself she knew herself and she knew herself vocally um but when she was doing the the repetitions the pain the pain the pain oh brilliant brilliant and that's what makes someone a great singer it's not them being able to sing every note on the piano it's how you do it you know, and people can and people get really disrespectful for me. That's why I don't do a lot of, I don't do a whole hell of a lot of Whitney Houston reactions. Because I know it's always going to be in the comments, sing it better than Whitney. Or whatever. Or whenever someone does, sing it better than Mariah. Sing it but that's just the thing. It's not, if someone, if you sing it just like the person, then you can't sing it better than them, in my opinion. Because it's like, <laughs> it's like if someone drew the Mona Lisa. Uh, now, I don't know who actually painted the Mona Lisa, but if someone painted the Mona Lisa just like the Mona Lisa, you can't say, oh, they're, they're, they painted it better than the, the artist that painted the Mona Lisa because they just copied it. You know what I mean? Let me see your own art. So I, I have to hear you sing your own songs for me to be able to say that, oh, you know what? Your style of singing is making you on this list of the greatest singers but you being able to sing one of their songs just means that you can sing one of their songs <laughs> in my opinion uh, what can you do how can you flip it you know uh, can you sing it better than them because when Whitney sang I'll always love you by Dolly Parton she completely flipped it there's not a part of it that sounds anything like Dolly Parton's version so uh, and no one no one for the most part flips that with I'll always love you they sing it like her um, so until until you can think, because uh, not just about it's not about how you deliver, but it's the choices that you make. And until you can make a choice that is so distinct and so unique, it doesn't really much matter uh, to me. And that's my opinion, but I, that's how I see it. Um, and in this performance, her flipping those notes and making it a repetition and still getting those emotional intentions behind it, I just think it's brilliant. 
I think that's the mark of a great artist and singer uh, that she is and still was at that time. Like you know, like, like those things is the the mark. It's not all just about the notes and stuff. Even though those are great and that is a mark, you know. But that is impactful to me still. Hmm. <sighs> I still had the melismas. Okay, she still had that. It's just enrooted in her soul. That church, you know, it's just enrooted. It was enrooted in her soul. That's all I got to say. Like sometimes I just I wanted to watch that. Um, and I don't really know. Uh, how can I put this? Uh, I've listened to Whitney all my life. Whitney was such a staple in my life, especially like oh, the Bodyguard, and she was just such an icon. But I don't know her performance history that well. If that makes any sense. I don't know why I don't, but I don't. I've seen what I've seen, but I know there's so much more that I haven't seen. And I don't know why that is, but I just haven't seen a lot of performances. I've seen I've seen a lot. I think I've seen a lot, but I feel like I don't know. Like I think I feel like I've seen every Mariah Carey performance, every at least every televised one. Uh, but I can't say I've, I've done the same for Whitney. Um, and maybe that's something I can do. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys for being here. I love you guys dearly. Hit the subscribe button. Let's be friends. And I'll see you next video. Guys, Bobby. Peace.